if you weren't sure uh, where you ended up on YouTube. Today I've got a bottle of Hypnotic, which is some really cool looking stuff. And, you know, you might ask, hey, hey, is some bartender, why, why, why do you got Hypnotic? What, 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 what kind of cocktail could you make with an exquisite blend of premium vodka, cognac, and natural tropical fruit juices? Well, this concept, today's video concept, actually comes from a viewer recommendation in the comments. That's right, it's our very first viewer recommended video. Now, I was always planning on doing a sequel to the Avatar The Last Airbender video where I made a Katara cocktail, but I always thought I would do like Suko or Toph, but no, it was Javon Dunmore. If I'm saying your name wrong, I'm so sorry, but it was Javon Dunmore with this comment that suggested that I make an Azula cocktail. And you know, I gotta hand it to Javon. Azula is a great, great character. Uh, uh, she she really ones up, one ones up. She really ones up her brother Zuko because she can use lightning bending, which is pretty crazy if you ask me. So today's cocktail is actually inspired by Azula. Now the actual recipe that we'll be using today comes from afktavern.com and on that website it's actually just a lightning bender uh, cocktail but I'm mixing it up a little bit making it Azula styled. I'll add a little garnish you know really to get the Azula energy going. But yeah we've got some hypnotic that is our uh, one of our ingredients for today's Azula cocktail and uh, let's go check out the rest of what we've got to make this uh, 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 tasty lightning bendery uh, drink. Our second ingredient that you will need in order to make the Azula cocktail today is dragonberry flavored Bacardi which I actually had to go to like a uh, what's What's that called? What is that called? Like a liquor palace. That's not the name of it, but it, it was a big, it was a big liquor store. Not like the, it was a, like a warehouse. Um, but yeah, in order to find a Dragonberry Bacardi, which claims that it's made for mixing right there on the bottle. So that means that it's perfect for a cocktail like today's. This is rum with natural flavors, um, apparently. Uh, what else does it say? What else does it say? Uh, Bacardi Dragonberry is expertly blended for an intense fruit flavor that creates the most refreshing cocktails. It is made with natural ingredients, is gluten-free and vegan. Scan to find out more. So if you want to find out more about Bacardi Dragonberry, you can scan this QR code that I will now hold up. Right to the camera. Yeah, that's not gonna work. That's not going to work. But anyway, this is the second of the ingredients that you will need, need in order to make the Azula cocktail. I'm gonna show you them all to you first, and then we'll get started with the mixing. Third thing's third. You can't have lightning bending. Well, you can't have a lightning bender without the color blue. That's why bright blue curacao is also a part of the Azula cocktail. Now, I know we have already got some blue in the hypnotic, but this will really add an extra kick to it, I think. Um, yeah, it's an orange flavored liqueur. Uh, should add a little bit more fruits. I think this will go well with the dragonberry flavored uh, rum. Dragonberry, what even is uh, uh, what even is it? A, a, a dragonberry? Uh, what, what? What is that? Uh, maybe it is a real fruit. Comment below if it's real. Uh, like the video if it's not real. Or like it anyway, please. Um, but yeah, blue curacao. It is a favorite of ours in all of our blue cocktails. And uh, yeah, I think it'll just add to that flavor profile. I'm really actually excited to try today's drink. I know a lot of the time we uh, we make drinks that are like, you're not really quite sure how they're going to go, but I'm really excited for today's because I think it's going to be fruity and tasty and azula -y. Next, we've got Sprite. Now what we're going to end up doing 
is topping off the drink with a little bit of Sprite. This may not even be enough Sprite, depending on how much uh, space in the drink the actual liquor takes up, but I've got a little can of Sprite for us to do some topping off. Later on. with 
says serve chilled or just add ice. We are adding ice. Let's crack this one open. I might actually have to pull off this foil. It's like corked. Ooh, I hope you like that sound. Okay, we're gonna do half an ounce, which is again like a third of the shot glass. Looks cool. Let's pour it in. Now that's what I'm talking about. I love that. That's a great effect right there. Top that off with some more Sprite. And there you have it. It's the Lightning Bender, the Azula cocktail. Actually, can't be quite finished yet without our cherries. Let's garnish with a couple cherries here. We'll stick a skewer through them. Beautiful. Now that is an Azula cocktail if I ever saw one. I'm really excited to try this one, so let's take a sip. Well, there we have it, the Azula cocktail. But the real question is whether or not this cocktail lives up to the very high standards that Azula has, not only for herself, but for her brother and her army. Let's find out. Let's mix it back up a little bit. Kind of dive the cherries in there a bit. Pull up some of that hypnotic. Oh, didn't mean to spill it. So we'll see you next time.